Hi, this is Brennan Harvey. Welcome to the Story Behind the Story Tools Edition. This is the first part of a multi-part series about writing tools. Just as a carpenter uses a set of tools to create art, writers also have tools that help them create stories. I'm not talking about pen, paper, computer, word processor, or imagination. I'm talking about plotting tools, grammar tools, rhetorical tools, editing tools, polishing tools, and the like. They're so important, the second part of Stephen King's groundbreaking book on writing is titled Toolbox. The first tool I want to share with you is critique groups. I'll repeat that. It's the first tool in my toolbox that I want to share. It's that important to my writing process. Some people swear by critique groups, others swear about critique groups. I personally don't think I would be the writer I am today without my critique group. A critique group is a collection of writers who communicate together on a regular basis about their writing. Writing is a solitary business, but humans are social animals. A group gathers like-minded individuals, sometimes online, sometimes in person, who understand the trials and tribulations writers experience. It's writers befriending other writers. A critique group is a collection of readers and other writers who are willing to read your work and give feedback on what worked and what didn't work for them. It's a give and take support group. It's writers helping writers. A critique group is a collection of writers who encourage you to write and show your work. There's no better feeling than hearing someone who's read your chapter say, I can't wait to read more. Often this is the only opportunity for new writers to experience praise for their work. It's writers enabling writers. A critique group is a group of writers who share new insights on the art, craft, and business of writing. Members go to workshops and share what they've learned with the group. Members suggest books to read, both writing related and non-reference books. Members share calls for submissions to magazines, anthologies, and contests. It's writers teaching writers. A critique group is a collection of experienced writers who help less experienced writers. Whether it's dialogue, point of view, characterization, scene setting, theme, or plot. Critique groups have skilled writers who can help fledgling writers. Whether it's capitalization rules, comma placement, word choice, or pronoun confusions, Groups can clarify established grammar rules and explain how to break them in an intelligent, thoughtful way. It's writers mentoring writers. Groups like Critique Circle, who boast over 50,000 registered writers, or Critique.org, who boasts tens of thousands of members, are huge community groups. The groups have been around for decades, usually. You'll have no trouble getting your work critiqued there. However, Submissions are often earned by critiquing other members' work first. They do offer niche subgroups for almost any writing genre, so you won't have a science fiction writer critiquing your historical romance novel. These sites offer articles, forums, and critiques, but with zero face-to-face -face interaction. These are small specialty groups, usually genre-related, like SF novelists or Codex or all poetry. They may have membership fees, annual or monthly, or not. They may require qualifications like publication to join, or not. They don't boast thousands of members, but there is a core group willing to help each other. It can sometimes be difficult to break in because of the group's clickishness, but as you submit, people will learn who you are. These groups communicate via email lists, forums, and social media. These are usually smaller, in-person groups that meet every week to every month at a local restaurant or bookstore or in somebody's home. The group can read uploaded manuscripts or authors can read their own work aloud followed by critiques. More than likely, there are a number of critique groups meeting in your local area, especially if you live in a metropolis. The nice thing here is you meet each other in person and friendships can lead to non-writing relationships. I met my wife in one of these groups. Usually small groups of advanced writers, these are usually college classmates, workshop members, or the like. They can be online or local. Usually the groups have something in common. They're all novelists, or write in the same genre, or have completed the same classes, etc. It's hard to generalize about private groups because each one is unique and one of a kind.
First off, make sure your ego can support a critique group. Even the best written manuscript can have issues, and sometimes it's hard to hear that something you've spent hours, days, weeks, or years on doesn't work. It happens. Realize that your work is not perfect. Realize that you are going to get frustrated with people's comments. Realize your story is only going to get better. People have tried to embarrass my group by putting through previously published pieces, thinking their work was perfect, only to tell us after we've made suggestions that it was previously published and we didn't know anything about critiquing. As I said before, a critique is a suggestion by a reader as to how he or she thinks the manuscript could be improved. It's not a final exam grade from a teacher. Second, determine if you want a local or an online group. There are pros and cons with both. If you live in a metropolis like me, it shouldn't be hard to find a local critique group. Check local schools and university bulletin boards or talk to a librarian. Bookstores usually have bulletin boards or online websites of community services or you can talk to the community service representative and find out if there's a group that regularly meets there. Finally, check sites like meetup.com. A search of writing critique groups on Meetup lists 40 critique groups within 25 miles of where I live. If you live in a more rural area, finding a local group may be difficult. Again, check Meetup, schools, bookstores, libraries, and the like. There may be a knot of like-minded writers nearby that you can join. Local groups are great ways to find writers and build strong relationships. With one, you're no longer a solitary writer, but part of a community. You're rarely anonymous for long, and people are more polite when they meet face to face. You're also able to ask questions on the spot like, does anyone else think my protagonist is too tall? However, you'll have to dedicate a specific amount of time on a specific day or days to go out and meet with the group. Rain, snow, sleet, hail, parking lots, traffic, everything. Even if you host a group in your home, you'll have to clean and prepare to be a host or a hostess as well. And some days, you may be one of three people who show up when 12 normally would. It can get frustrating. Online groups are another option. Unlike face-to-face -face meetings, you don't have to get dressed, drive, or walk to the meeting and sit for two or three hours. You can do your critiquing at home at two in the morning in your underwear and then submit it before you go to bed. You might get more critiques with an online group than you would with a local group. People might recognize your name and your stories after several submissions, but you're still not a tangible person. You're an online presence and, to you, the other members are the same. This anonymity can bring out the worst in some personalities. Some people use online anonymity to beat up on others. I have seen huge flame wars start up over the brightness of paper, the darkness of fonts, and whether or not an M dash has spaces around it. These are all trivial as far as storytelling is concerned, but some people just need to be right. Another way to meet fellow writers, local and remote, is at conventions, conferences, and workshops, especially if they're writing related. Other authors attend the conventions to make friends, to meet fans, and to connect with other writers. It's a great place to find a beta reader who you can trade work with online, locally, or via email. Think about it. If people are at a writing convention, they're probably looking to improve their writing just like you are. Trading critiques works for both of you. Genre-based groups are another complication. If you're in a metropolis, it might be easier to find a group that specializes in your genre. In smaller communities, it can be hard. Online groups are the easiest, and many large groups like Critters.org or Critique Circle have subgroups that cover every genre. Find out from the group organizer if they accept your genre. If they don't, look elsewhere. If they do, give them a chance. Remember about conventions and conferences. Most are genre-based. However, attending a science fiction convention might not be the best place to find critiquers for your historical romance. Reading critique versus print and critique. I avoid reading critique because if the author mentions an orange tree, I start wondering about it. Is it a tree that grows oranges, or is it literally an orange-colored tree? Is the season fall? Was the tree spray-painted by kids? Etc. Next thing I know, I've missed part of the reading because of a hiccup in the story. Maybe it was the explanation of the orange tree. I don't know. However, it might work for you. At a reading critique, there's no homework. It's done on the spot, at the meeting. With a print and critique, you have to go to the critique on your own time, and then use more time to go to the meeting. 
Finally, if you want a local group and you can't find one, consider creating one yourself. Coordinate a meeting space and a time. Ask a local bookstore and local library to post flyers advertising your group. If there's a community college or a university nearby, hang up flyers on their bulletin board. Same with a local coffee shop. Ask if you can post an announcement there. If you can spare the money, create a group on meetup.com. You're probably gonna to wanna to leave a group at some time. If the level of critiques you're getting is not helpful, or if you disagree with almost all the critiques, then your writing may be too advanced for that group. If there are big personality conflicts within the group that make you wince, they may be long-lasting feuds that you'll see over and over again. It might not be worth it to stay. If the critiques are personally abusive and not about the story, then definitely leave. If you've improved past the writing level of your group, you might want to leave. I've heard it said that the best critique group to be in is one where everyone is a better writer than you are. I disagree. Think about it. If everyone quit when he or she got good, nobody more talented than you would ever look at your writing. Don't be afraid to leave a critique group. If it's not working, find another one. If you think that a critique group might be good for your writing, I hope my information and advice has been useful. Go ahead and give it a try. Even if you don't think it's right for you, I encourage you to adopt some trusted beta readers. Writers are too close to their work to look at it objectively. An outsider can give your manuscript a fresh look and point out issues you don't even see. And that's it for this first episode of the Story Behind the Story Tools Edition. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If you did, Please like, share, and subscribe using the YouTube buttons below. I publish a new video every Wednesday.